Hey guys, welcome to another video with bradegger.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up an OData feed in Excel using Power Query. Uh, the option in Excel 2016 is actually under the Data tab, Get and Transform. This is essentially Power Query. If you were in Excel 2010 uh, or 2013, you can actually download the add-in and add the add-in to Excel and you would see Power Query up here. I'm not going to go into details on that, but you can uh, do that just by Googling that uh, through the web there. So the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to bring up a um, browser right now, and we're going to type in the Chicago City Data Portal. So there are so many data portals that are available out now for basically any of the larger cities out there now. Even smaller cities are starting to do this, and it's a data portal or governments as well. So um, if, I think it's data.gov, for example, for the United States government. You can actually go through there and get information. We do the same thing here in Canada. We've got Toronto that has that available too for cities. Uh, I like the City of Chicago data portal. I've gotten some fun data sets out of there that I played with in Excel. Again, this is a great method for training. So how we're going to do that is you actually just type in Chicago City data portal. We're going to click on City of Chicago data portal. And a lot of them have what are called these OData feeds available. So we're going to go to Administrations and Finance. And from there, um, there are all sorts of data sets. You can scroll through it or you can actually search within this category. But I'm just going to click on the first data set we have available. It's called uh, Current Employee Names, Salaries, and Position Titles. We click on that. And directly from here, what you'll see on all of the data sets in Chicago are for the majority of the data sets in uh, the Chicago data portal website is this little dot 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 after you've clicked on your data set and it says access data via OData. We click on that we're going to actually copy the OData endpoint and we're going to go back over to Excel back over to the get transform option in 2010-2013 it would be Power Query. We're going to go to new query other sources from other sources and then from an OData feed and we're simply going to copy and paste. I just used control V there to paste the OData uh, feed link in there. We're going to hit OK. And in this case, you can actually edit the data. The cool thing about Power Query, we can do other videos on this, but you can actually uh, edit the data and do only certain, um, you can basically do certain filters and stuff like that if you would like to. But in this case, we're just going to load the data right in to Excel. So you'll see it's just downloading over on the right hand side. I'll actually show you that it's downloading all of the rows right now off of the website. So if for whatever reason that data set was updated, you could simply go over to this external table data tab uh, under the table tools section and you can actually hit refresh and it would allow you to uh, easily refresh this data set without having to actually leave the spreadsheet or going to download it again. So that's one of the cool things about Power Query um, and as well as the OData links. Uh, they're super useful for that. So now that you have the data set in here, you can do whatever you'd like. Uh, let's just say that you want to summarize or create a uh, pivot table, learn how to create a pivot table. You can use the pivot table option from the table tools. Uh, from here, if we wanted to find out what the biggest spend was by department, we'd select department, scroll down to the annual salary, dump that in there as well. Switch this over to value field settings, go to number format, and click on currency. Hit OK. So we'll see the uh, sum of all of the salaries by department. Next thing we can do with the pivot table is go more sort options, and then we can sort uh, from descending on the sum of the annual summary. Hit OK. And there you have it. So you see that police spends over a billion dollars in Chicago, fire spends around 475 million, and the total spend. Um, for salaries uh, in Chicago is around $2.178 million. So anyway, that's a quick and easy way to get Excel, uh, get some fresh data in Excel so that you can learn how to use it and train yourself, do all sorts of formulas, build dashboards, whatever you want to do. It's also fun data to play with because you can learn a little bit about the cities or about the government, uh, you know, government administrations or whatever it might be. Anyway, if you haven't checked it out yet, please feel free to check out my Excel dashboard toolbox. Um, that is my newest product. It has five different uh, Excel tools that you can use or Excel data transformation techniques that you can learn and apply on your own. Just click the link above there. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.